Hey, howdy ho, it is your ho, Tim here. Welcome back to another video. Do you guys remember back in the classic days of World of War, Black Ops, the, the Xbox 360 era when we all cared about achievements? Think about it. It was forever ago, but there was a point in time in which we all grinded for hours on end, completing menial tasks to accumulate gamer score to see who could get the most in their friend group, and whoever got the most naturally had the biggest... It's as simple as that. You know, nowadays, especially with Call of Duty Zombies, we get so caught up with main easter eggs and story and all this big picture crap. Well, how about those small rewards you got for completing such simple tasks? Today, my friend, we are going to be revisiting those days. Although, these achievements in particular are special. These aren't necessarily the easiest achievements. They're not necessarily the hardest achievements. These are the most obscure, random, and bizarre achievements you could hope to complete. These are not achievements that you would complete had you played the game normally. These are only achievements that you'll find yourself unlocking had you gone out of your way to do them. And that is going to become very clear throughout this video. These are weird zombies achievements. Enjoy. Alright boys, we are of course going to start off with World of War. Shinonuma specifically because for the challenge that we're about to do, it specifies Map Pack 2, which I do believe is Shinonuma. I believe Map Pack 1 is Verruck. That only makes sense. Uh, Nocturne Toten really isn't a map pack that sort of just came with the game. So I assume this is map pack 2 and there is a specific challenge for Shinonuma, which is called Hammer Time. Repair 200 window boards in a single game. So I have to rebuild 200 boards in one singular game. That is going to take a very long time. Is it difficult? Not necessarily, but it is time consuming and it requires persistence and it requires me not dying as well. So the strategy here is to let the zombies tear the barriers down and to then repair them as quickly as I can. I don't want to repair them while the zombies are standing here because they'll reach through and they'll swipe and I don't want to die because it's very easy to die in World at War, especially with how glitchy the zombies are. What is this gun, by the way? I kind of want to keep a distance. I do not want to be knifing too often. I'll just roll with this Gewehr for now. It's a, it's a low-end starting weapon, but it'll suffice for what we're doing. Let's make sure that all these guys are tearing through these barriers. That's very important. Hopefully, by the way, when I get the achievement, it pops up because... I am playing World at War on the Xbox Series X backwards compatibility for the win. Hopefully the achievement actually pops up. It probably will because these are random, weird, obscure zombies achievements that I have not gotten the majority of for that reason exactly. They're just out of the way and they're weird and they're not something you would typically just do in a regular game of zombies. I'll keep him alive and I'll rebuild all these barriers real quickly. I'm not going to keep track exactly how many boards I have, but I should be able to just continuously rebuild them all and get there. We need 200 boards and there are six boards per window. So if you do the math and divide 200 divided by six, you get 33. I didn't just do that in my head, by the way. I'm not that smart. Don't give me too much credit. I just pulled up my calculator on my phone briefly. So uh, we got to get about 33 barriers so far. I've had one, two, three, plus four is seven. So 33 minus seven is... Wow, this is embarrassing. Uh, 26. Would anybody in their right mind actively try to rebuild as many barriers in a regular game of zombies? Absolutely not. Unless you hit your head while you were little or you have some sort of weird fetish, I doubt anybody is actually doing that. I am going to be livid, however, if Shinonuma is not the map that it actually needs to be done on. <laughs> like, if it needed to be done on Varok or Doris or Noct for whatever reason. Although it did specify map pack 2, so I'm not crazy, right? Like, this is map pack 2. They could just say the name of the map. They could just say, do this on Shinonuma. But no, they're like super vague about it. All right, let's get rebuilding. This is really tedious. This is not something I want to repeat. I definitely do not want to die and have to repeat this. That would be the worst possible thing. Oh, it's a dog round. Okay, well, this is good and bad. It gives me a little bit more time to rebuild these barriers. It also uh, means that there are dogs, which are just not fun in this game to deal with. Ugh. Fuck off. Oh, thank God I got it. You see that? It's there. I did it. I'm quitting. I am not <laughs> dealing with this stress anymore. All right, boys. So the next achievement on the board here, which I probably could have just done first, but I'm choosing to do it afterwards, is called Weapon of Minor Destruction. It is red. Kill no more than one zombie with a nuke. So I have to have a nuke at the end of a round with only one remaining zombie and kill it with said nuke. This is not specified to any particular map, so I just chose Nocturne Toten. I didn't want to play Shinonuma again. That map is way too stressful. 
we are going to let the zombies get in here so that we can actually get drops. So we have a higher percentage wise chance of getting a drop. And uh, that way we can hopefully get a nuke and we'll have to go on a killing spree, kill all the zombies, but one, grab the nuke, and this achievement should be pretty quick. Oh, and by the way, since I already have some of these achievements, not all of them, of course, but since I have some of them already unlocked on my main profile, I am actually using my buddy's <laughs> Xbox profile. He gave me permission, he gave me consent, okay, so it's totally okay. Shout out to Nate, he's a close friend of mine. And, hey, I guess he gets some achievements unlocked on his profile. I know that means nothing in the grand scheme of humanity, but that's a pretty cool thing. We both win in this scenario. This is an old profile of his. He doesn't really play Xbox anymore, and he and I spent almost a half hour trying different emails and passwords through text to try to get this whole thing to, to work out. Oh, that's a nuke! Perfect! This is a perfect opportunity. I need to kill all zombies but one, and I need to do it quickly before it you know, disappears. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm too young. I don't want to die. Okay. All right. I just need to make sure that there's only one zombie left. And this might be the last zombie. Let me just quickly check out here. Make sure there aren't any lurkers. Now, if this is the final one, it should work. I'm just going to go for it. Please. I didn't get it. Or did I? Let me check. Damn it. What the fuck? The reason why I put this achievement in the video is because it's obviously such an odd thing you know to, to kill the final zombie with a nuke specifically i just think that's a little obscure it's like why why would anybody actively try to do that i feel like if anything they would probably end the round first and then grab the nuke so they can maximize their points that makes sense to me but this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me but it's a cool achievement nonetheless it's a pretty easy it's probably one of the first world of war zombies achievements anybody ever got Oh, there's a nuke. There is a nuke. This is opportunity. We can't squander opportunities. I need to... Okay, that was scary. I need to just make sure that I only have one zombie left. Just one. Are you the last one? Please, sir. Tell me. Oh, no. I see one more. Are you the last one? I need to know very quickly. I do not have any time to waste. If I don't see a zombie in my immediate area, I'm just gonna pull the trigger here. I'm just gonna do it. Please tell me that was a... Oh, not again. I'm gonna kill myself. Kill no more than one zombie with a nuke. Map back two only. Quick edit. Don't worry about that. That game didn't happen. At least I don't have to describe everything that I just described, though. I don't have to explain anything. Now we know what we're doing. Why Shinonuma specifically, though? I don't understand. I could have sworn when I was reading these descriptions for the achievements that it didn't matter which map you did it on. I guess it does. I guess you can only kill the final zombie with a nuke on Shinonuma or it's bust. I was pretty sure that both times while I was on Noct, I actually did complete it. I, I just, for whatever reason, need to be on this map. But I could have sworn I actually did it the first time. And if not the first time, the second time, surely. There's a nuke. This is the golden opportunity. I need to make sure that there's only one zombie left. It looks like... There's just this one right here. It's only round two, so let me just very briefly check. Oh, oh, good thing I checked. All right. This should be the last one. That should be it. I'm just going to grab it and pray for the best. Yes! Fuck yes! I've never been so excited to get 20G achievement. All right, we're done with World of War, actually. So, uh, one last do raw, right? Right next to my boy Peter. Let's do it. Hell yeah, on to Black Ops. Alright kiddos, welcome to Black Ops 1. There is one particular achievement I would like to do, and I have to do it on PC because I already have this done on any Xbox profile I can get my hands on. It's pretty simple, the achievement is called Eaten by a Gru, and it is described Play Zork on the Terminal. Super weird achievement. If you get your hands out of these cuffs here, and you... Oh, did my game just freeze? Oh my fucking god, what was that? You're witnessing my game have an actual mental breakdown right now as we speak. So it's actually really weird. If you type in Zork in this computer, okay, Z-O-R-K, you enter that, and it's so weird. And you can see right up there in the top corner, Achievement Unlocked, and it brings up all of this, whatever this is, whatever significance it bears. I doubt it has much, but it's still an achievement, and it's a very random one. This is probably the most bizarre achievement in this entire video. I've actually done a lot of achievements in Black Ops 1 Zombies, because back in the day, I used to actually do that shit. I was into the game. I mean, this is my favorite COD ever, and I was, like, grinding back in the day. So, the only achievement we can do right now is on Call of the Dead, and it is called Shooting on Location. 
In Call of Dead, kill 10 zombies with one scavenger shot from over 100 feet away. So this is going to quickly turn into a, a box spinning party trying to... Uh, let me restart, that's a terrible location. I need to get the scavenger and I need to get it in a timely manner. Killing 10 zombies with a scavenger shot from over 100 feet away seems oddly specific, does it not? Also going to need to pair the scavenger with phd flopper because without flopper i will most likely kill myself with it which would be say it with me most unfortunate this is actually an achievement i believe in the past when young boy tim back in the day was playing i failed many times to do because it is pretty challenging i mean you got to get 100 feet away and you got to kill 10 zombies it's not like you have to kill one 10 is a lot so we'll see if we're even able to pull this off if we were playing on co-op, it'd be pretty easy because you could have one person training at the bottom near spawn and then somebody could, you know, just sit on the lighthouse and do it. But I might have to make crawlers and then just run up there and do it as quickly as I can. I don't know what constitutes a foot in this game, let alone a hundred. Well, isn't that an interesting pickup? I will take it. It is not the wonder weapon I need, but it is a wonder weapon. It's a fun wonder weapon. It is easily one of the worst, but it is super fun to use. <gasps> yes! Fuck yes! Okay, perfect. Now I can go fly... Go fly flopper. Go buy flopper. Speak English, Timothy. I have it all planned out right now. What I'm going to do is run over to stamina up, get enough points for stamina up, and then buy it. That's step one. Step two is to kill George, get the free perk, get rid of the waff. I want to save ten crawlers, probably a couple of extra just for good measure, to then try to get this complete. If I can kill George, I can have him not interfere at all, which would be fantastic. Oh, look at that. Isn't that convenient? I'm just... Oh. There it is. I'll have you guys killed. Grab this. Free perk. Speed cola. Excellent. Actually, uh, don't want this. I gotta get rid of this. I know. This is probably making you infuriated. Grabbing the Wonder Waff, the only useful Wonder Weapon on this map past round 40. Yeah, I gotta get rid of all the ammo and I'm gonna have to roll with the Scavenger. Hopefully George doesn't spawn right back in on round 15 here. Because I killed him at the end of round 14 and I know he spawns in after a full round. The fog here is not gonna make anything easier for me. Not being able to see shit. Yeah, not great. Is it clearing up? I think it is clearing up. Perfect. Okay. What looks like 100 feet away? Here's my plan. I'm going to run over there, use a the zip line, go over there, and then from there, shoot them all. Hopefully, they'll turn around. If this works, I am going to cry tears of joy. If this does not work, I'm going to cry tears of pain. Either way, tears will be shed. So, they're pretty damn far away. This looks well over 100 feet away. Now, let me get a good shot at him. Please. Oh, Lord, please. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Fuck yeah! I'm joined with Crazy Rabbit, boys, and we're going to get some co-op achievements done on Moon. There's a couple of them. Oh, my God. How do you play like this? Oh, I, I, it's not my preference by any means. He's bitching about his FOV again. <laughs> oh, my, oh, no, no, my keys are the keys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not have the right binds? Like, what is wrong? No, I just reinstalled the game. Oh, my fucking God. At least stand, oh, make sure you stand on that pad so we can it's not fine. get it's destroyed. Fine. There are two it. achievements we're going to try to knock out a once here in one game if possible. One of them is specific to Moon, and it's called One Giant Leap. In Moon, become trapped in the receiving area and free yourself through resurrection and co-op. We have to have two of the excavators, both Tunnel 11 and Tunnel 6, trapping me in the receiving area, which is the area we're in right now. Uh, and then I have to basically die and then respawn. It's a really stupid and unnecessary achievement, hence why it's in this video. And then there's also the achievement, Sacrificial Lamb. It's shoot at or be shot by an upgraded explosive crossbow and kill six nearby zombies. That is going to be challenging because that is purely based on RNG. But then again, everything on Moon is based, you know, purely on RNG. So I guess it only makes sense. Yo, I'm gonna fuck Susie up. I'm gonna fuck oh, Susie. Susie's gonna win. Susie's gonna win. Susie's gonna win. You don't Susie's fuck with my friend like that. Yo, fucking credit score shit. <laughs> Whoa. The excavator we we want to get rid of is Biodome. 
Um, but we want the ones from 6 and 11 to crash down. Great! I got the fucking zap guns! I got a commando. I'm gonna stick with this for now. I'm not gonna spin the box a whole bunch right now, because a crossbow and a zap gun uh, isn't exactly ideal for points. Perfect. That's good. Perfect. Let, let that go down. This looks like an let HS10. Do you, ha you happen to be interested in HS10? As fun as that sounds? <laughs> Not no. even kind of. <laughs> Not at all. Holy oh, shit! Wow, <laughs> yes! We can do it! I'm gonna go back to spawn before the excavator crashes down so I can actually get there because I can't go through tunnel 11. So I have, like, uh, I have to go up there you know, now. Yeah, you think you'd better just stay over there. Yeah, I'll, I'll survive here, and then when it comes crashing down, I will kill myself and we'll get the achievement. As long as you can uh, finish out the round, of course. Yeah. If yeah, you have faith in yourself. Damn, I was born to play this map. What's the backstory of these excavators? Why were they ever built? They uh, literally just ruin the doing everyone's day. Oh, boy. Trying to find the, the, the orb of man god. Death is inevitable. All right, it is down, Senor. If I threw a Gersh device and jumped through and it teleported me right next to you, how mad would you be? That would be a little upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> All of this for nothing. You can unround whenever you'd like. And we should get the achievement. Or I should, at least. Hell yes! Hell yes! Song. Quick pause here, quick editor's note. He and I spent the better part of an entire hour spinning the box, trying to get the crossbow out only for it to legitimately not be in the box, only on Moon. It's on every other map in the game besides Moon, and we were joking around about that the entire time we were spinning it, only for it to legitimately be true and have us waste all of that time. I think they took the crossbow out of the box. They did, because it's not in here. Is it even on this map anymore? It's <laughs> a good question. Was there, a, yeah, was there a fucking update? I've seen every single gun pop up except for the crossbow. Literally everything. Okay, I'm Googling this. I'm <laughs> Googling. Crossbow on moon. Damn, buddy. Bitch. Do I have some bad news for you? Don't even tell me. <laughs> it's not on this map. It's not? Uh, Why it's not? On it's on every map but this one. Wh Why? I have no idea. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> you can't be serious. Why is the oh, ballistic yeah, knife on this map? It's on every map but this one. <laughs> I... I I figured we could kill two birds with one stone by getting both of them done in this game. Christ! That is actually amazing to me. I am, like, genuinely shocked. That, That is so bizarre to me. That might be the most bizarre thing about the entire video. Like, forget the fucking achievements. Like, the crossbow is on every fucking map but the one we were doing it on. Why? Yes! The moment of truth. The upgraded crossbow becomes the awful Lawton. Oh wait, that's the wrong video. I'm not doing an every gun pack a punch challenge. Oh, I got you. Please count. Yeah, zombie. Right again. There you go. It wasn't was six. Good. It wasn't six. It wasn't six. It Don't like worry, good. we'll get it. We'll get it. I can't actually directly shoot you. I have to like indirectly shoot you. Oh, I think that I missed it. Oh, did it? It? Good job, Tim. You got it. Congrats. <laughs> you got that achievement. Yeah. Woo. All right, Chads. Welcome to Black Ops 2. We are on transit. Non-transit. Transit. That is right. There are two achievements we are going to try to chip away at. One of which is very easy and one of which is nearly impossible. The easy one is called Happy Hour. It is described as... Uh, purchase two perks before turning on power. It's actually pretty simple. One of which we can actually just do right now by buying Quick Revive. And the other one we can do by powering up one of them. Probably jug or double tap with a turbine without even flipping the power switch. So that's not too difficult. The other one we have to do, however, is called Don't Fire Until You See. I think. Yeah, that's what it's called. And it is described as have all the doors opened without being set on fire. Which, as we all know, is a very tall task. Considering this map is riddled with pools of lava, fire, and exploding zombies. None of which I can be affected by. You see why this is going to be just goddamn impossible. I'm not looking forward to this. I would be lying to you if I said this was my first attempt on that challenge. I actually did complete the achievement, uh, Happy Hour, 
not too long ago, but unfortunately the recording in which I did it in corrupted. The file completely corrupted and the, the footage was no good. Go fucking figure, that's just my luck. Um, also, never open up this door in a regular game. There's no need to because you can go this way for free, but in order to complete this achievement, I have to open up every single door. The challenge does not discriminate. That includes Bible doors, it includes Pack-a-Punch, and it includes doors that need to be opened up via turbine. You asshole. You do not approach me like that in front of all of my viewers. You are going to die. Thank you so much. I'm going to grab the BG-3R probably just to keep a distance from the flaming zombies so they don't explode and set me back. Uh, we can probably just go, Ted, because we're not really waiting on anything. I've got to be minimizing my movement as much as possible, stay on the bus as much as I can. Of course, stare at my non-existent feet while I move. I really got to be careful, as careful can be. It's really, really stressful, on top of surviving with sprinting zombies and denizens and all that kind of shit. I'm also worrying about literally just not being set on fire, like literally not even gracing any lava or fire whatsoever. And I can't have a zombie explode too close to me otherwise because there was a point where I completed the entire challenge but because a zombie exploded near me and damaged me without even a fire animation on my screen that was enough for the challenge to not work and for me not to get the achievement I am forever upset with Treyarch for valuing not stepping on lava as much as they do but they value that for some reason. We're not going to come out the front here because there is a pool of lava chilling right there but what we can do is come out the back and just be so 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 careful. We'll open up the shack, <laughs> grab this part and then we got to open up that door right over her. I'm not actually going to spin the box, I'm not too worried about that, what I'm really worried about is simply Getting all the doors open, that's all I care about. I don't think the amount of gamer points you get are nearly worth the amount of stress it puts on you, the amount of anxiety, how much it increases your blood pressure. Not even close to worth it. I think it's like 30 Gs. That's fucking stressful, man. Also, what happened to one of my failed attempts was I actually put the turbine down at the power station to get Pack-a-Punch open, and when I got back, it wasn't there, so I had to go around and do it, and then by the time I got back to Pack-a-Punch again, the, uh... Still wasn't there, and basically I was just in an endless cycle of, you know, shit not working. So that is just more than frustrating, as many of you avid transit players know. It's just not a fun time. I can open this up, and the dreaded door over here, which has also been one of my failed attempts. <laughs> Just gotta hop over all this shit. Oh, thank God. And there we go. Oh, gosh. The bus is leaving without me. Ouch. Ouch. Don't leave without me. Don't you goddamn leave without me. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? No. No. You stay. You stay, goddammit. Are you serious? At least I can get this achievement done. Even if I fail the other one, I can get the two perks before Here. I turn on power. I got quick revive and double tap. Should be good. Right? Pop up achievement. Yes. Here we are at the per station. And that... Is not great actually. There's one door to open there, and then we're gonna turn on power and open up those other doors. I am kind of just a sitting duck here. I really don't have anywhere to go. I'm sorta of trapped. I've gotta go down here. Holy shit. There is an armada of zombies chasing me at the moment. It is not looking good. At least if I turn on power, I'll get my double tap. Oh, one of them died. And here we are, last but not least, town. The most infamous for having the most amount of lava. There's a couple of doors to open. I've really got to be careful with these jumps. Holy shit. Ah! Oh, don't mind the grunting! That's just me being super anxious. I'm just going to grab Jug while I'm right here, too, because I have a lot of points. This is the definition of anxiety. The definition of anxiety! There are so many zombies. Oh, no, it touched me. It fucking touched me. So help me God. So help me God. If that counts, I'm going to scream. I got to re-grab the turbine and go all the way back to the power station to see if that works. And if it doesn't, that means you're not seeing this footage anyway. This is the moment of truth as to whether or not that one little hit counted as being set on fire or not. Without a fire animation, mind you. There was no fire animation. It was just a hit marker. So if this doesn't count, I'm going to scream. I'm not actually going to scream because it's very late, but I'm going to be very, very upset. That's charging, which probably means I need to 
just simply go back to town and check on that. Although I'm pretty sure if it was charging it correctly, it would just pop up anyways because the door would just open. But I think there is one bank vault door that I still need to blow open anyways, and I think that technically counts, so I'm still going to go over there despite my better judgment. Here goes nothing. I really highly doubt it. Ah, uh, yep, I already opened that up. So I didn't get it. So that one hit actually did count as being set on fire, which is fucking un unbelievable. Yes! Yes, I did it! I didn't even have to bust open that bunker door. See, I just basically repeated everything that I did in that failed attempt. Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I think I may have actually made an error. I don't actually think that hit counted because, like I said, the fire animation never popped up. There's actually another door that I had missed on every single attempt except for this one in farm you power up the front door of that barn with the turbine and you think that's it but then there's also that little side door we're on die rise now there is actually an achievement on this map that is super weird and i will tell you what it is <laughs> it is called facing the dragon in die rise face the dragon head on before reaching round two so on round one i have to make my way all the way to the rooftop where the dragon is and literally just look at it that is it. You get an achievement for that. So let's go do that. I had to do this on PC because there wasn't a single uh, Xbox profile that I could do it with. So uh, I guess what you have to do is kind of just like, walk up to it and face it head on. Kind of look at it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was exhilarating. This one is called Full Lockdown. In Mob of the Dead, Brutus completes his patrol. So I need to open up the majority of the map and have Brutus drag his sorry ass throughout the whole thing and shut down pretty much everything that includes perks that includes pack-a-punch that includes crafting tables pretty much anything that i can access he will have to go and shut down because he is a piece of garbage oh there he is thank god okay all right yes get to that get to the shutting down everything part so there's the mystery box i think i should also keep an additional zombie alive that way i mean i'm pretty sure that brutus doesn't count as like a final zombie so I'll just keep him alive anyways, just for good ma- Did he just disappear? Uh. Oh, hi. Okay, that was really weird. Usually when Brutus does this shit, it's actually the most infuriating thing in the world, but now that I need him to, it's like, oh yeah, cool, yeah. Yeah, come, come take away my cocaine, my liquid cocaine. Oh, he did it! Oh, I thought I had to have Pack-a-Punch shut down too crazy all right chads we are on black ops 3 now i am on nathan's profile and i had to change his emblem because it was something highly 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 offensive and would easily get me demonetized on youtube i won't disclose with you what it was but i had to change it to one of the default ones we're going to be starting off with of course shadows of evil there is one achievement that i have on my profile already done but not nathan's and that is as described Sorry, we're dead. Kill 10 zombies that are inside a store in one game. So, should be pretty easy. I probably don't have to progress too far into the game. Just kill 10 zombies inside one of the stores. Probably just in the junction. You know, in one of the... Holy safe area problem. You just see that? Look at this fucking abysmal goddamn safe area. Jesus, Nathan. You are... Something else. These are his settings, okay? Not mine. This is a laundry mat. I think that counts as a store. This is a butcher's thing. That's not really a store, though. That's just an alleyway. This is a store for sure. I mean, it says sale on it. I think it's a clothes store of some sort. Uh, this is an ice cream shop. That is a rug store. So this is a good area to be in for sure. I just need to kill them while they are in there. I don't know why this achievement exists. Killing 10 zombies specifically in stores. Not just in buildings. In stores. I mean, what constitutes a store is pretty vague in general. Uh, but it, it, like, it's just so random. It is just a weird achievement. All right, that should be nine. And I should only need one more if I did my math correctly. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, there it is. Let's check that out. I don't even care that I just died. 
There it is. We are going to do some Dr. Eisendrack now. I have fully pimped out my gobble gun because I am at the point where I don't necessarily care if I'm exploiting the game heavily or not because this game has opened the door for itself to be heavily exploited. This achievement is called None Left Standing. In Dr. Eisendrack, kill every type of zombie using a minigun. That is why we have our trusty fatal contraption gobble gun so that we can pick up a minigun just about any time we need to. There are a couple of different zombie types on this map. I'll take that, by the way. There is the Panzer Soldat. There's the standard zombie. There's an electric zombie and a fire zombie, which I can get by uh, doing the rocket test. And I believe that's it. They may also include the Hellhound, but I'm not positive. I don't think they will. I think that is not a zombie type. I think that is a boss type, if that makes sense, but we will obviously find out. Kind of a random achievement. It's not totally random, but it's not something anyone would actively try to do. It's just one of those things that you would only really ever do if you were trying to grab one of the Ragnarok pieces, happen to kill all those types, happen to kill a Panzer as well. Yes. Okay. We're going to do this, lads. We can actually use one minigun right now and one minigun later when I actually see the Panzer. So this is good. Those are the electric zombies I was talking about. That's the fire zombie I was talking about. We got the standard zombies killed. I think there are other ways to make electric zombies and fire zombies. I think by the panzer itself, he can set them on fire. And I think he can shock them and make them electric. But I'm pretty sure this way also works. The panzer soldat should be spawning in any minute. Where is he? Ah, oh, well, I feel his presence. That's all I need to feel. Alrighty. I need to kill him quickly, though, before this actually runs out. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. There we go. No achievement? Oh, you gotta be dicking me. It must be a hellhound. Oh, no. It decided to... It decided to... Come in, like, extra late. Here on Zetsubo Noshima, I am back on Nathan's account, and we are trying to achieve Iron Lung. In Zetsubo Noshima, stay underwater for one minute. I assume that means one minute consecutively, and I assume that means in one game. That only makes sense, so I've got to find uh, some water with pods in it. Or, I, I don't know if they're called pods. Spores, that's what I meant. I need to find a body of water with spores in it. I can't really use the spawn water. There are no spores to help me continue breathing. So, I'm not really going to be setting up at all. I just need to get to probably the bunker, right? So, I, got, I probably got to get power on. But other than that, I should be good. I'm basically just trying to get power on. I got the gas mask because I just had time on my hands because I needed to wait for a lot of the more of the spores to spawn in. So, hopefully this will suffice. I just got to stay under. And when I start suffocating, then do it. I think the gas mask will actually help significantly. This just needs to be time for one minute. So if I can keep that guy away for a decent chunk of time. All right. There's one. I'll just have you killed because fuck it. Let's see if there's another spore laying around. Please, God. Okay, here's one. All right. Come on. I don't want to fail this. All right. Hopefully that's good enough. There's one down here. That would be excellent. There is. Perfection. All right. Got that part while I'm down here. May as well. Please. I think three should do it. Can zombies even get down here? There we go. If that doesn't work, I don't know it will. That seriously needs to be a full minute. Yes! There it is. Is, bro. I'm on Zetsubo with Johnny. He is helping me get this achievement done because I didn't want to bother Rabbit any further. Uh, so this is an achievement called In the Belly of the Beast or something along those lines. And it is as described. Let me actually find it in my notes here. Uh, <laughs> survive getting consumed by the beast. Well, that's literally just the description. Survive getting consumed. So, the beast is the thrasher. Okay, so, I'm gonna down and a thrasher is going to consume me whole, and I'm gonna be in his stomach, and then Johnny is going to kill it and free me. This is probably one of the least weird achievements in this video, to be honest. This is something that is pretty common in a game of Zetsubo, if people are downing. So... It, this is probably one that I probably could not even put in the video if I, if I didn't want to, but I don't know. I, I felt like it was a little weird to get an achievement for being eaten alive. There is a thrasher on me. Oh, cool. Well, that makes this easy. I will go over there. And you think you're going to be able to hold out for the rest of the round? You got a decent gun? Oh, no. 
I'm oh. gonna get points and go hit the box. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm oh well, it's a good thing I didn't just blow myself. I was Johnny. I was literally. I was cooking a grenade and I decided to throw it's it. It's coming to get you. This is the opposite of what we want. No, I'm getting the achievement. Let's go, Johnny. Here, you get to see it from both perspectives. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what it looks Yo, like from the up, other bro? perspective. How's it going, man? How's it going? <laughs> this is fucking. How's it going, dude? So weird. How's it going, Tim? Hey, what's up, brother? All right, Johnny. I'm going in. Live. Live, God damn it. On it. All right. Oh, okay. oh I, got, I, I got a good gun. Oh, why'd he come to me? I don't know, but run over here so it takes me. Keep my boy Tim. He's a snack. Please. Absolute snack. Yes. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, oh man, this is so hot. Wait, does this prevent me from bleeding out? No. Hi, Tim. Oh. Can you see me? Yeah, this is trippy. Hello. I feel like a fetus. I feel like I've just been born. Like I was staring out of a big gaping vagina. Well, that's the achievement, boys. That is how you do it. On Zetsubo, no Shima. I am back on Nathan's profile. I am on Revelations. And today we are going to be... <laughs> today we're going to... It's the same fucking video, Timothy. Uh, it's called The Grand Tour. In Revelations, visit every unique location within two minutes. So I've got to open up the entire map and grab stamina up and basically haul ass to get to every single unique part of the map. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. It's pretty vague. Unique location. I'm assuming they don't include like bridge locations. Do they include spawn? Is this unique? I have no idea. I mean, it's it's not one of the remastered parts, right? Is that what they mean by unique? Just the one of the remastered parts? That could be it, right? But it could also not be it. It's very vague. I'm gonna grab this RK5 just so I am lighter while I'm running. I figured out the route. I have got everything open, so I've got to start off in. Nocturne toe in that way it counts as one of the unique locations. I actually don't have to visit pack a punch I've noticed but I turned on all of those generators anyways. Okay, so the route is as follows it uh, Can go Nocturne. Well, I can go a number of ways, but I go Nocturne toe in uh, Then through spawn. I don't know if spawn even counts, but there it is through origins We'll go this way since it's quicker the zombie will die to make my life ten times harder We're gonna loop around here and head straight down into mob of the dead i'm gonna try to fill all of these two minutes with commentary with stamina up this actually should go by obviously a lot quicker than uh, if i had not had stamina up. but it is possible to do it without stamina up that's not a requirement that's just something i have to protect my ass you know what i'm saying okay so we're gonna go through mob of the dead take that telepad and head right on over to verrucht 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 words now that we're here, we can probably just slice and dice our way down <laughs> to the other portal, uh, and that'll take us to Kino Derto in AKA Cinema of the Dead. How am I doing so far? Is the commentary holding up? Well, that's good. This portal will then take us to, well, I, it's Kino. I just said it. <laughs> Duh. Uh, and then we will go straight down here. Uh, why do I keep crouching like that. I don't mean to keep doing that. We'll go through, straight through here and then we'll do the right straight. Oh! Grand tour. It just gave it to me. Well, I was supposed to go over to Shangri-La. I think it was just because I was at Shangri-La just before I started my route anyways. Well, that works. That'll do it. Keep close. In Revelations, assist a keeper in defeating every enemy type. So it's kind of similar to the Derizon Drek one, but it's not quite the same. The only difference is I have to find all the keeper parts, build it. That costs like 4,000 points, so it's mighty expensive. But I have brought some OP gobble gums to help me with my finances. Probably could have just done it in the Revelations game I already did, but that's that's all right, I suppose. How many enemy types are there on Revelations? There are the Furies, the things that I'm knifing right now. The regular keepers, not the, not the one that helps me, but the ones that try to kill me. Uh, the regular zombies, the Panzer, the Margua, although there are different types of Marguas, there are different elements of Margua, so I really hope they don't ask me to kill each fucking type, because they don't even spawn in that frequently. That would be awful. But, assuming they only mean one type of Margua, I mean, there's also Parasites, so, like, I'm guessing five or six different enemy types, so, it won't be impossible, it is gonna be kind of a pain in the ass, though. We have all of the altar pieces, thank you to Mr. Raffle Waffles for the guide, I knew where two of the three pieces were, but I got, I got lost on the skull part here, so... Had to look up those classic guide. 
It's mighty expensive. It's 5,000 points. So I really got to make these count. We're going to buy the Keeper, make our way to the Apothecan's belly right now, and hopefully we can get a couple of enemy types done. I know there's also spiders in there, and I think there are rotted zombies, or what they're called, also in there. Here's a rotted zombie. I shot it. He finished it. Okay, I got the rotted zombie done. My gun is literally too powerful for me to shoot the zombies and have the Keeper finish it up because it's just one-shotting parasites and spiders. So I, for my third weapon, am going to grab the Shiva because I know it's weak. That way I can do like a one shot and then have him finish it up. Yeah, okay, I shot them for sure. Now I need to damage this Margwa quite a bit. I need the Keeper to help me finish it. As long as I've shot it, that's good. Yes, okay, he killed the Margwa. Or she killed the Margwa, whichever. Uh, that's good because I shot the Margwa. That means we have the Margwa down, we have the normal zombie down, and we have the rotted zombie down. It's go time. I think we got Furies and I think we also have Parasites. This is a perfect opportunity right now, actually. So let me spawn in my good old friend. And we just got to get shots on these boys. I'll shoot that Fury. I'll try to shoot all the Furies. Furries. Yeah. As long as I kill confirm. Good. We got the Fury down. Now we just need a Parasite. I just need to shoot a Parasite like once. I shot that Parasite. And it's dead. And just to double check. Oh, that instantly died. How is a Shiva one-shotting this bitch? There's a spider. There's a spider. Shot it. I shot it. Keeper. Finish him. Finish him. Yes. Okay, we got the spiders down. That sounds like a panzer to me. Or, I, I feel a panzer. Yep. All right. Shot him. Shot him a whole bunch. I don't want to die. Help out, Keeper. I can... I can stun him. Oh. Did he get it? Or did I get it? I don't know. <gasps> yes! Hell yes! I guess I did get the spider. Awesome! We're on Black Ops 4. We're gonna start off with 9 because there aren't any achievements on Voyage of Despair, and there aren't any on Ancient Evil either. So, uh, we're starting off on 9. I am on Nathan's profile. He has literally never played Black Ops 4 on his profile. This is the first time I had to, like, set up the entire game, like, all the settings. He has, no, like, just the basic bitch class with the welling and the frag grenade. It's it's kind of sad. But actually, it's not because this game is kind of trash. There are two achievements we're going to try to tackle in this one. One of them is called the Slaughterhouse, and it is as follows. Uh, in 9, dismember 13 limbs in a single game while in the pit. If there ever was an achievement that was too oddly specific, that would be it. Uh, there's another one called uh, Here Kitty Kitty. <laughs> Kill a tiger with a brain rotted tiger. So I got to get uh, the brain rotted uh, AAT and, uh, you know, get a tiger with it and have it attack another tiger. Tiger on tiger violence. We're in the pit and I have to shoot off 13 limbs? And limbs are just arms and legs, so I guess I gotta aim for their arms and whatnot. Well, I don't know why we have to do this challenge in this room specifically. I don't know what's so special about this room. I don't know what the number 13... I don't know what significance that bears. Why I need to shoot off 13 limbs and not, like, I don't know, 14 or 12 or literally any fucking other number. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me, but, uh, I mean, we're probably already pretty close. I'll just, uh... Just continue to shoot. There it is. That's so stupid, but like, hey, you want 15 Gs? There it is. Yes, brain rot. Perfect. Okay, we're going to keep it at this, and we're going to go up to the top arena for more space, and we're going to try to pick apart two tigers. we got to find two tigers, and i got to hopefully turn one of them into a brain rotted tiger, and then have that one attack the other one. Yeah. Yes! 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 That happened so quickly. Alright, boys, we're on Blood of the Dead. There's only one achievement we have to get done on this one, and it is called Match Made in Hell. In Blood of the Dead, complete a gondola ride with the Warden. So I've got to get to the gondola, have the Warden spawn in, complete the ride with him, and I should probably build a shield to protect myself because he's going to be hurting me. Come on in. Alright, you're in. I got my shield. Don't hurt me. I just got to make this last... The rest of this trip. Come on. Yeah. See, had the shield was a great idea, actually. I don't think I would have been able to do that without it. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Now I don't have to play any more Blood of the Dead. We are on Classified, baby. There is an achievement on this map called Going Everywhere Fast. In Classified, use a teleporter seven times in less than a minute in a single game. Why anybody would need to do that, I don't know. But that's what we're going to be doing, so... I have strategically placed stamina up in my soda slot, and that is where 
The, the majority of the teleporters are down there by the soda machine. All right, we got power on. I'm going to buy stamina up, and we got to get seven teleporters in under a minute. Seven? Will this be it? Is that enough? Go an extra one or two. Yeah. Hell yeah. Take a look at that, boys. Read and wait. All right, boys, we're on Dead of the Night. Now, there is a very oddly specific achievement on this map called Board Gamer. In Dead of the Night, kill a werewolf in the library with a revolver. I don't know why it's a game of Clue, why we need to be guessing exactly who killed what, where, with what weapon, but I need to be killing a werewolf in the library specifically with a revolver. So I'm going to try to get silver bullets attach it to a mozu that's a revolver and that should be the end of it in theory i'm not actually sure if a werewolf spawns in without getting pack a punch on i would assume so but i don't know when and i don't really want to find out i don't want to find out it's on round 20 so i'm just getting pack a punch turned on i've got all the tuning forks i'm going to try to save just one or two zombies at the end of the round to then take out the werewolf i don't want to deal with him while i'm dealing with all of them the second I plug in those tuning forks into that giant turret over there, I will have a werewolf sprinting out and trying to kill me. So, But I got the silver bullets, so it should be a lot easier than I not. Where you at, ho? There you are. Oh, God. He is genuinely terrifying. This is the weirdest looking werewolf of all time. I add. There it is. Yeah. So unnecessary. Like, so unnecessary. And that is a piece for something that I, I'm not continuing, so it doesn't matter. All right, boys, we are on Alpha Omega. If you hear a little bit of noise in the background, that's just my, my beautiful fiance, full and close. Okay. Uh, this achievement is called Chug, 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 Chug in Alpha Omega. Buy all four perks in any order in 35 seconds or less. Why anybody would need to do this in under 35 seconds? I don't know, but I've got a route down and I've got a complete full comprehensive strategy to do this so I don't screw up because once I buy a perk, if I screw up, it's over. You know, I can't rebuy the perk unless I down and you know, that's just awful. I don't want to do that. So here goes nothing. First, it's a quick revive. Then we make our way over to this machine over here, the soda machine, or I guess the brew machine. Grab stamina, up, which is strategically placed right there. These telepads are strategically, strategic, can't even say strategically placed. Ah, and then right here is Dying Wish waiting for me. Turn around. We're going to activate the Path of Sorrow so I can run even faster. Turn around. Generator room. This is my first attempt at this, by the way, so this is going swimmingly. There we go. Did it. Look at that. That was definitely under 35 seconds. Hell yeah. That's so unnecessary, but so cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Tog Derto in the final map of the entire video. There are two achievements we're going to try to tackle in the final battle or uh, last part of this episode of achievements that I'm never going to have a part two of. Okay, uh, one of them is described as Bell of the Snowball. Ring all four bells with thrown snowballs in under 12 seconds. So, we're going to see if we can get that one done right now in spawn. And then there's also another one called Mile High Jug. In Togder Toten, break the jar on top of the lighthouse with the Strife. I have the Strife, so we're not going to get rid of the Strife. And I'm going to have to try to see how to do that. I'm not exactly sure. There we go. There we go. There we go. And last but not least. Come on, how does this one count? Yes! Sweet! Hell yeah. Really unnecessary why you need to do that, but hey, there we go. Yes! Got it! Hell yeah! And those, ladies and gentlemen, are all of the, quote, weird zombies achievements that I deemed worthy to be in the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if I missed any notable ones. I doubt any of you are going to go out of your way to do any of what I did in this video because it's 2021 and achievements are sort of a 2010 thing. But I figured it'd make it for a fun video. I gotta go. Check out all of the links in the description, all the socials. I appreciate you guys so much. I really enjoyed making this one. I really did. Peace out.